Okay, uh, I'll be seeing again. And uh, this time, I would like to explain about uh, a lot of questions to me that why I should have a lot of problems, not, not a lot, I mean, that more than one. So, this time I would like to explain to you that which problem that really should you, and then whether you have to have more than one or not. Okay. <clears throat> You see here, I have the three types of rom -com. Uh This one, the red flag one, red color. I bought it first from Singapore. So this rom -com actually I uh, do not make any modification of it. I just like it as original as it is. So I have a comparison when I have another rom -coms, then I need some modification. So, which type of this? Let me show you. This is a H type one. Do you know the H type meaning? It means that the handle post is a little bit longer than usual. If you take a look at this, it has a extension of this about 4 or 5 cm here compared to common one, M-type so this Brompton type is recommended by the Brompton technician in Brompton Junction, Singapore he told me that when I tried this uh, it is good for long distance because especially for senior, not older people the back Paint everything, so it's more convenient rather than the other time. So I'll show you where it is. You see, it's a flat over here, right? So a little bit with the S type, okay? So what is the difference here? I think you see this one is called the S type. Okay. Higher, and then you can come close here. Uh, you see that every bottom I equip with the standard of my uh, requirement. I always put a place for the GPS here. I use the type of uh, trigo that I explained to you before, and then I always put this this kind of bracket for the water bottle. It's a magnetic one, so easier. It's not occupy so many space over here, and of course the light is uh, a decent one. And you see that it's already equipped with the bell. This is a minimal requirement. If I have to go longer, then I should put an electronic bell over here. It has a six bit. I think uh, see here the internal. 3 speed and the next turn out speed here it's just a common one, everything I don't have, I don't make any modif modification on it except that uh, I just grab this cable and then here I do a hit string rubber over here as I explained to you before and then this is a basic standard one the emblem all still standard, there's nothing more Oh, except the saddle. I always use this uh, small type because it's convenient for me for longer ride. So what we need is only our butt here. Sit a little bit here. So you don't have to go to the front of us here. So it's much convenient. Because anyway, you only sit on the butt. Yeah. And then, uh, nothing more. That is all for this. It's type. So this is H type. The plus point is it's longer, so it's a bit straight the body, so it's better for your back. Uh, uh, line in here, and then the other one is just under. Let's see from this side. You still have the palm, and then uh, let's put it right here. Okay. Okay. 
The other one is uh, titanium type, titanium type, which is uh, the S type. And then uh, this bike actually I bought the S type common one, but uh, I replaced everything which is not titanium, and left only the mainframe because. I learned that Proton factory still keep not titanium type because of specialism. So to keep the original key, I still use the original mainframe. Here if you take a look, everything is like titanium. This triangle on the back, the seat post. Handle post, handle, handle bar, and then the fork, all titanium. It's very light. And then the, I only left this one. And this bike is designed for speed. It has a flat bar, so more underneath. You see? Of course, it cannot compare to a good bike. The bike is more aerodynamic, like this, because they use drop bar. This is Brompton. Still, you have to understand that Brompton is mostly a city bike. And then, I use external. You can take a look here. There are three speeds only here. So, I'll take away all the internal, which is heavy. I change for everything. This one is also specially designed for the titanium one. And I change this one. Make it similar. And I use the 5040 uh, chain ring here, of all. And then the other one, I replace this one. And then you see here, still, I use the heat shrink rubber over here to eliminate the spin problem. And then I install this uh, water bottle over here and then a decent headlamp. And then still, don't forget that I install a bracket for the GPS. This is a standard requirement. I bring the GPS over here. I can show you. I use the Garmin H1030. So remember to type this on here to avoid the possibility of loosening. And then put it in solid like this. Yeah. This is a quite sophisticated one because it's using a steel over here I cannot uh, use the other type one because this uh, handle post is not standard one so I have to find another which is suitable to this type and then as usual I have a ring I even install this one the already standard one I install another one here this is older and then uh, I use the quick release pedal, very light, titanium. So if you are not using it, you can just put this away and then it's on the back. Also, titanium one, the holder, titanium, very light. Yeah, I think uh, the saddle. Similar, I still use the standard one over here, and then the light, back light, you have to always remember that it is very important, especially for the night light. So, this is the titanium one, the S type, so this is designed for speed. And it's very easy to take away to anywhere because it's very light. You see, it's the opening is so very easy, very really fast. Yeah. Another one, 
This one is the latest modification that I made. It's uh, I call it as a Brompton for mountain ride or mountain drive. I have I really have to have a bike which I can use for some kind of event, which is I can bring it easily. It's uh, easy to fold and also it can do an uphill and also uh, it doesn't uh, eliminate the possibility for speed so before I own this I have equipped this with uh, some equipment because this is for long ride so I have equipped with the standard uh, on equipment over here and then uh, of course I have a reserve tire I put it over here yeah. And then uh, you see the other one is almost similar. So this type is actually an um, M type, but I use a low rise M uh, handlebar. Take a look here. Yeah. I still use the heat shrink cover. Yeah. And then you see here, I use a low rise one because sometimes I need to have an aerodynamic style and sometimes I have to be to maintain my back because it's a long ride. I use only uh, in internal as well here, five speed on the back, internal speed, and then the unique one here is I use this club drive. This is the mountain drive uh, speed. Uh, it's a, it's a chain ring, but it's combined with uh, some gearing. So let's take a look. This pedal also is a folding one. Left and right, and then the, if you want to change the speed, once you obtain the limit, the maximum speed on the back, the five speed, you can change it by using this one. So it's it's a kick from your ankle. Two speed over here, the ratio. So this that's why that is called as a mountain drive because it's used for uphill. I can show you on the right in front the other. The other one is similar. I still keep the water bottle and also the PS holder over here. And then the bell ring. And then the, uh, the gear. The internal gear is handled from here. Control from here. The other one is similar. It's all just a black type one. I still have also this uh, pump just in case and a small uh, bracket here for rack any rack on the back so the unique one is only here yeah. it's called mountain drive so let's go outside and see Change is we keep this chain ring by using our ankle. Yeah. Yeah. So sometimes it's, you have to practice a little bit before you really go down because it's a little bit unique. You change the gear by using this the ankle here. You keep this part. So that's it for the three types of Brompton that uh, I can explain to you. Uh, the first one is the, the S-type and then the S-type, H is the longer, the higher the 
So I explained to you one by one the three types of brown tone. The first one is the H type, which is, is uh, the different is which uh, is longer in the uh, handle pose here to make us easy and more comfort for the long ride. And then the second one is the titanium type, which is the S type. It's flat, it's for speed, it has three speed, and then there is no internal, so it's very light. And the third one is the mountain drive, mountain ride brown tone, which is quite heavy because uh, I still the five speed internal over here and also another two speed on the chain ring and then it's using the ankle to change the, the gear and then uh, of course I equipped with so many things over here so it's quite a little bit heavy but it's very light because uh, it's for long ride we have to equip everything with the bags everything so weight is not the issue over here so that's it uh, the three types of rom I think uh, you can just uh, when you want to decide to purchase, you can uh, just think what kind of uh, bikes that you really need. So that's it. I hope that uh, my information is useful. If you like, please do like and then subscribe. Thank you.